Hello everyone and welcome back to Control. In the last part we began the game and things got very weird very quickly. Seems to be a bit of lag when you come out of the pause menu I've noticed. Just just there, just a little, little bit and then it goes back to being fine. Interesting little bug. Not sure I've seen that one before, that specific lag. Right, what have we got here? I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, and Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit! You're the new director. <laughs> Hold on. We're coming out. Yeah. <laughs> About that. Just kind of picked up the gun. Didn't really know what I was doing. Suddenly, I'm in charge. What's she Director. wearing? What's she got strapped Baby. to her? Call me Jessie. Okay, Jessie. I'm Emily. She got pixie ears? Look, somehow, this hostile force, this hiss, that works? This somehow hiss. Somehow hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. What's an HRA, you sorry? You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Is an HRA what she's wearing? Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me. I feel like nothing's going to sound things. crazy to these guys. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point. Push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... <laughs> I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions and you probably have a million more. Yeah, a million and one. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or oh, yeah? possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. I mean, if we can Emily Poe. bring people back? I don't know her, but I like her already. I like her too. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. Because it's like, currently we think of them as zombies, like once they're part of the hiss. For you, of course. That's it. Nothing you can we do, can gotta put together. them down. But if there's a way to heal them... Okay. You with me? Then obviously that's before. preferable. Push the hiss out. Anything to look at? Wait, did I just... Oh, yeah. Control points. Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. When the appropriate harmonization devices are arranged around the control point in the something arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen building shifts. Okay. These control points are discovered by something. Detection of an un unobstructed ping using the something within a 37 foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctures or something, or vulnerable spots of the oldest house. The common factor in these theories is that control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house and work more confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found that certain parts of the building refuse to be stabilized, I guess. Or controlled. Refer to file for full report. Cool. Very nice. Anything else? 
That's a no from me. Cleanse the Hiss Corrupted Agent. Is that Mr. Floaty? It sure is. Hello, Mr. Floaty. Oh, you're Mrs. Floaty. Hello, Mrs. Floaty, then. <laughs> The fuck the happened? Work. The hiss has burrowed too. Hiss corrupted agent. The hiss manifests in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating throughout the bureau. The hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction from an unaffected human is the fact that they levitate. <laughs> ah, yeah, <laughs> unaffected, you say. These hiss have displayed no aggressive behaviour. They only seem interested in vocalising the strange incant incantation ad infinitum. Ad infinitum? I don't know how you pronounce that. But it means in infinitely, obviously. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the hiss corruption, like spores or Wi-Fi boosters. Or are they cocoons, preparing to enter their next stage of evolution? When attacked, hiss agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility, or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. Refer to blah for full report. I mean, they don't enter a state of invisibility. <laughs> she was right here. I can walk around. She's not just invisible, she's gone. Boing. This is a strange looking jump, isn't it? <laughs> Hello. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. Okay. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. Guess we're not gonna ever try that again then. I'll risk it. Try and cleanse them. Listen, I can't. Okay. <laughs> the Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary. 17 years ago. Your hometown was called Ordinary? The came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files I mean, for you. I mean, I'm the director now, so... My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but... Nothing's classified for me, missing. right? I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us. Or a few of us. The Hedron Resonance and Amplifier. And Trench would know. Trench. The ghost, or whatever he is... He mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun. An old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench has years and years of experience. He might know how to destroy the hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. Lovely. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. That's Tomasi's department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Keep an eye out. Bet he regrets that decision then. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. 
I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. What scared Do me shitless you? is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. Is that the hotline? I would guess so. Weird room just sort of hanging in the middle of an empty nothing. I'm on my way. Oh boy. Whole bunch of stuff. Still don't have clearance level for these. How do you get clearance level when even the director doesn't have it? Loadouts. We have a new personal mod. Uh, health recovery on element pickup. Uh, no. And it's even worse than this one, so deconstruct. Still don't know what those actually do. Those little triangly things. Missionies. Unknown caller. Emily instructs Jesse to find the hotline, an object of power in the form of an old telephone, to understand the messages from the dead director trying to communicate with her. They hope he can provide insight into the Hiss invasion. Call. And the collectibles. Portrait of the director. The only person you should fail is yourself. <laughs> wise, wise words. I know this is sure. You, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no. There are no the dumb questions. Should be in the communications department. Okay, that's that's a fair few options. Let's go through them. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No, no, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start. Other places. But in the context, oh it's boy. good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. The oldest house. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the Bureau Headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. You've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Director Trench? This Trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? <laughs> I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Yeah, also, first time you touch that gun, uh, you get taken to the astral plane and given challenges, which if you fail, you get instantly killed. So maybe better not touch that. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. <laughs> so objects of power I like are mundane her. objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the periutilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. So, HRA stop you from becoming Hiss? Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. 
Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Cool. Thanks, Emily. I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Just let me know. Anything in this room that we want to take a look at? Oh, indeed. Levitate this box. That's such a cool way of doing that. More undefined reading. Okie doke. Looks like that is it for now. Cool. So, enter the communications department to find the hotline. We're going to come out of here and we want to turn right and head that way. Have fun, lads. You're welcome. Clean the place out for you. Boop. There it is again. Our welcome message. House memory. Oh, it's another. Damn it. Guessing that's a no. Right, yeah, because that's a clearance level thing. Okay. Sounds like there's going to be some fighting going on in here. Maybe? Oh no, maybe not. You okay down there, buddy? Walk it off. You'll be fine. You'll be a-okay. Uh-oh. Hello. Can these guys shoot through the windows? Yep. That's kind of cool. Make your own paths. A lot of games you can't shoot through glass and break open. I keep pressing X when I finish shooting to reload, but obviously you can't. But it's just so ingrained in me that you press X when you finish a fight. Shatter projectile choke. What? Oh, it's doing the thing again where I can't move around. You have to change tab and then you can move around. Interesting bug. Um, shatter, projectile, choke. Projectile spread minus 7% exclusive to shatter. No idea what that means, but I can't equip it. Hmm. I think we do get powers at some point, so I guess it's probably something to do with that. Travel costs. Visited the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Sun Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, In and Out, Ha, uh, Aztec Court, Sleep E Bear Motel, Silver Spurs Ranch, El Gato Blanco Inn, A Plus Lodge. Expenditures. Accommodation, near a grand. Meals, near a grand. Gasoline, 300. Mini bar, 300. I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state. Wait, what? I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state. Why would you... What? You didn't stay at one called... I'm confused. But hey, I guess I'm not paid to think, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us the budget to get two rooms each night. Agent Rowley and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room. See you on the road, Agent L. Hines. The boys in research said performing rituals may help identify any places of power. Drinking those little whiskies is my ritual. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, bud. Not sure what he means about Ocean View, because he hasn't mentioned Ocean View before that. Anything else? Nada. God, this sounds weird, doesn't it? Right, I forget that I need to be picking up these blue bits. I'm on three quarters health. So I want to be heading that way. So, what's this way then? Do I even want to? Whoa! It's overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. Okay. <laughs> I guess some areas are just blocked off for now. Fair enough. This is definitely a fight room. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, is that them spawning in? That beam of light. Hiss Barrier. The Hiss Resonance Field is a physical impediment that is difficult to define. Hiss Barriers appear as ways to impede escape or access by Bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. One, destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity. Two, destroy the Hiss entities in the area. The resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of Hiss resonance. Without the ability to draw from these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of Hiss resonance qualify as a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the Hiss? What does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the Hiss? And to what degree is it watching and planning? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, I am on a little old sliver of health. And these blue things do not give me back as much as I would like. So that's a worry. All of those blue things, and I'm only on half health. That is a little bit of a yikes. I didn't even feel like I was doing that horribly. But they just do a lot of damage with each hit. Can't get in there. Hello. Havana Summary. An auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. Several deaths were reported and the outgoing information has been managed. Response. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is, to reported, to, which is reported to have been something. Staff experienced sudden, intense vibrations and noise, accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for X minutes. No visual phenomena was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off and the embassy staff were transported to the continental US. After formula I.9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the bureau for examination. Cool. Oh, let me just check. Oh, it actually does work. I thought because it was red it wouldn't. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. So, what way? Uh, I want to be going over here. There are other options available. What have we got around here? Anything to read? Does it seem to be through this door? Oh, it's the lose again. Come on, one day. Yes! Yes! Something in the lose! Unstable area notice. Due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area's stability has been downgraded to yellow. Reference chart. Green is stable, yellow is low possibility of unanticipated building shifts, orange is high likelihood, and red is frequent unanticipated shifts. And in here. Oh, it's my lucky day. House memory, okay. I mean, all I really want is, um, <laughs> more health, if I'm being totally honest with you here, game. I could do with a fat wedge of more health. Oh, God. All those guys are going to become people to fight. Oh, boy. Dead letters. I am so screwed. I don't see myself surviving. I don't have enough health. Machine God. I had a dream and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from my toaster and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. 
I had to use the dialing plate on God. <laughs> what? What? Dead letters. What does that even mean? Ugh. Go on then, you fuckers. Hiss me. No? Oh wait, this is where I actually wanted to be. Find the hotline in here. Shit. Shit. Stay away. <laughs> Can't get an angle. Low ammo, come back. Okay. Good. I can't aim to save my life. Why why am I so bad recently? Okay, okay. Not too shabby. Let me get that health. Okay. We're surviving. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. So much undefined reading. Well, man, when we get clearance, we're going to have a lot to look at. God, this is dark. Singing fish. Mr. Governor, I called the police, but they never came to my house. I got a problem, and you gotta send folk to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button, but it's got the devil in it. <laughs> it flies around at night and sings devil songs. It says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of the fish, and you gotta come handle it. My wife is real upset. When can you come? <laughs> Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. My wife is upset. <laughs> okay, nothing. I wish these had health in them instead of these blooming. Oh, energy boost. What's that? Uh, plus six energy. What is energy? Maybe that's something to do with powers, which I don't have yet. Well, we'll keep the health boost on for now, because Lord knows we need it. <laughs> Maybe I'm just out of practice. I don't play that many shooters these days, really. Trench, dead letter approval. Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloguing the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the Archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. These letters come to us from various places and times, gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realise not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyse the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So, thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. Because <laughs> yeah, in the past, before I did YouTube, I'd just play like Call of Duty and Overwatch and stuff exclusively. And I was pretty damn good. But, uh, not these days, it seems. Anything over here? That's going to be locked. Okay, onwards and upwards. Shit. Whoa, what the? Not even sure what that was. Oh, hello, is this a control point? Love me a control point. Let's just have a quick look, see. Introduction to paranatural topics. 
eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. Wow! Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disk held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it, a perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on, and they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, okay. Oops. Oh, and it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. <gasps> a cup? Wow. Okay, that's neat. That's very neat. I'm gonna guess that this is going to uh, open up after we cleanse this point. Anything on the other side? Doesn't appear to be... There's green lights up there. That's a box. I'm not sure how we'd get to that. Okay, let's cleanse this bitch. Boom. Go. Navigate through the communications department. Clearance level 2 to get in there. Cleanse control points to gain access to fast travel sites through the oldest house. Cool. So I guess we can fast travel back to where we started. This was blocked off, wasn't it, when we came in? We couldn't have just come straight up here, could we? That would have been embarrassing. I'm pretty sure this was blocked off. I don't suppose anything changes, does it? Changes in these rooms? No. I was just thinking maybe like secret passage could open up if the walls move. So, how does fast travel work then? Oh, okay. Literally just... We're at dead letters. We could just jump back to central executive. Cool. You can't access outfits here. You could access outfits at the other one. That's curious. Okay, well, there we go for another part. I'm having to record these one by one. Sorry for lots of outros. <laughs> but uh, if you have enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video around, share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time for more Control. Thanks for watching. See you then.